Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? We're getting information that former uh, National Security Advisor Michael Flynn is going to plead guilty today, uh, making false statements to the FBI, according to reports. He's the fourth former Trump advisor now charged so far in this wide-ranging investigation led by Special Counsel Robert Mueller. The problem is nothing ties to Donald Trump or the Trump campaign to Russia. This was supposed to be all about Russia collusion with the United States election, and there's no evidence of that. But what they're doing is they are taking all of Trump's people and systematically persecuting them for former business arrangements that they had way in the past. Paul Manafort, you know, uh, now here's Michael Flynn and the other guy. So uh, court documents show that Flynn early, uh, uh, he was a very early vocal supporter of the Trump campaign whose business dealings and foreign interactions made him a focus of the Mueller investigation. Again, nothing to do with the uh, Russian collusion. There is no Russian collusion with the Trump administration or the Trump campaign. But some of the people Trump had that he chose to help him along the way had some issues in their past, their past dealings. But it isn't just Flynn or Paul Manafort who had dealings with foreign nations and made business deals that were off the books because they didn't want to register as a foreign agent. You got Tony Podesta and John Podesta of the Podesta group, you know, the, the spirit cooking guys with Maria Abramoff smearing blood on the wall and, and, and all kinds of other uh, breast milk and, and semen on the wall and doing some kind of hocus pocus Wiccan rituals of satanic occult. Those guys haven't been charged with anything. And they were doing the same thing. So you've got, it's been going on on both sides. What we have in here is a witch hunt on the Trump administration to paint him as some kind of Russian collusion. But Robert Mueller so far has not been able to do, not get, there's nothing to charge anybody. Trump and the Trump campaign or the Trump administration hasn't committed a crime. Now, where we do know of collusion with Russia is the Clinton cartel, the Clinton cabal, uh, the Clinton uh, global initiative that the Clintons received $145 million in payments from the Russian government for orchestrating the uh, Uranium One deal that was had to be signed off on by nine different government agencies, uh, which included Hillary Rodham Clinton as Secretary of State. It included Robert Mueller at the time, who's now the investigator of the Russia collusion, where there is no collusion on Trump. Mueller at the time was the CIA director, and uh, he signed off on the Uranium One deal. But of course, he's not going to investigate himself, or Eric Holder, or Loretta Lynch, or Susan Rice, um, or Barack Obama, or Hillary Clinton, or anyone else that was involved. There's a bunch of them. I mean, none of that's going to... Uh, I mean, that's that's the collusion with Russia that we're not ever going to get any justice on, it looks like. Of course, unless uh, the U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions would actually investigate Russian collusion with the Clinton cabal. But then again, Jeff Sessions has already recused himself from that investigation. So, uh, and forget about the, the, look, we're never going to find Hillary's missing emails and, and the wiping of the cloth on the, on the servers and the breaking of the hammers, smashing the f cell phones and the multiple computers and, and all the different servers and, and, the, and the bleach bit, uh, you know, scrubbing of, of, of I mean, we're not, we're just not going to get the truth on that. But Michael Flynn today will, will uh, plead guilty that he lied to the FBI about former Deals he made with Turkey before he was ever brought on to be a part of the Trump campaign. So there goes another one biting the dust. We'll see. They'll probably try to get him to flip on Trump. That might be part of the deal. We'll find out more about that. But what is there to flip? That's the problem. What is there to flip? All right. Well, anyway, 
we're in the last days and the uh the scandals and the lies and uh you know the the media manufactured uh uh the swamp is just uh, just that it's a it's filled with a cesspool of characters now i'm not saying michael flynn's innocent he's he's probably innocent of collusion with russia but but uh no doubt he had some business dealings that maybe weren't right okay but uh the world's in bad shape our country's in bad shape the politics what well, we still can't get health care fixed we can't get tax reform all we can do is people go around butchering each other politically I mean, this is awful are you serious the swamp the swamp Maybe that earthquake at Dover, Delaware yesterday was really God. They felt it in Washington. Maybe God was trying to personally drain the swamp himself. 